Welcome back to <laughs> Melissa and Jaslyn's Cake Adventures. Cake Adventures. No, I uh, <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. Welcome back to it's Melissa and Jaslyn's <laughs> Cake Adventures. <laughs> So she designed her cake. It's gonna be three tiers, because why not? And on this tier, what color is the background color gonna be? Teal. Teal. My favorite color. And with a bunch Mark. of little squares. Shut the middle tier is gonna be hot pink. hot pink. And it's gonna have dancers around it. Disco dancers with teal music notes. The top tier is gonna be the light purple. Light purple with a teal music staff and treble clef with her name written on the staff and cursive and cursive and then on top we're going to have a teal glittery number seven and all of these balls, balls are disco all the gray circles are disco balls with records popping out so this like, is kind of what a sketch looks we like we are trying to make one to try to make it look like that so this is kind of what a sketch well, looks like this is a more detailed sketch than what i usually do for my clients Clients don't typically get color. Oh um, my gosh! Jaslyn always has her own small cake that she makes. That I make by myself by and do everything. So by you'll get myself. to see her do that. And this is her design for that. So she has some squares, some music notes. I rub on eyes. The seven on this will actually be a candle. So she has something to blow it. A literary. That way she doesn't spit all over the big cake. Um, spit. So the first thing we're going to do, like I've, we've said before, is we make our gum paste or fondant base yeah. early in the week. So we're going to be making the records in number seven early in the week. Those are the only things we have to make in advance for this cake. And then you will you see... You have literally teal. No, that, this is not a blue candle. It's a teal. I know, it's a teal glittery number seven. You, you said blue. Leave in a comment if she said blue. Right. Can someone replay that or something? Or just say in the comments if she said blue. And then on top, we're gonna have a teal glittery number seven. I think she said blue. I like teal better. All right, teal. Oh. It's all right, I got teal glitter. You will also see us baking a little bit. We might show you how to bake our chocolate cake and just do some fun things. Tell them what flavors your cake's gonna be, do you remember? Uh, it's going to be the first year. It's going to be chocolate with raspberry filling. No. Yes. This one's going to be like funfetti. Oh, like, yeah. Like with sprinkles in it. Funfetti. This one's going to be chocolate with raspberry okay. filling. And this one's going to be lemon with strawberry. With strawberry filling. Uh -huh. And your cake is going to be. Oops. But we haven't decided yet. I thought you said chocolate with raspberry. Yeah, chocolate with raspberry. Yay! Chocolate with raspberry for her cake. So those are her cake flavors. And then we'll be all buttercream with fondant accents. And then you will see us flat icing and... Wait, one time my cousin Keegan said she wanted to eat the lemon candle candle because it looked like fondant. <laughs> this so, time she can eat this candle. The teal candle. So you'll see us go through the whole process of this. It will likely be the 
different episodes. And then you'll get to see us at her party. Ow. Yay. In our, in our disco gear. Disco. We're dressing Mine's up. Mine's really cute. We have to wait to see. At the beginning, we said it was, in the intro, we said it was Jeff and Melissa's cake adventure. Well, now, I think it's just Jeff. Jasmine's cake adventure. Let's get started. So, I'm ready to make a record. Where is the gum paste? Where's the gum paste? Hold on for a second. That was gum paste. No, she's not. She, she's invisible. I can't see her. Okay, now I'm going to just do it again. Just put it in front of it, roll it out. Um, work, get the cutter, get cut, put the circle. Um, put more cuts in it, and then, yeah, that's finished. Now I'm going to do it one more time, and another time. Now get the sticking water, put it in, and then we're finished. I finished all four, and now it's going to be dry, and then I might, what is that? I guess I might do music notes out of it, right? No, you'll probably pipe those on. Yeah, maybe I'll pipe them. Bye! Bye! Um, oh, yeah, 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 There's going to be, you see these, these are disco balls. These are disco balls, and then they're going to be on sticks. We won't make them, but we'll get in them for Amazon, too. So we are working on Jaslyn's cake flavors. Today we're going to make her chocolate cake. And this is the only flavor we're going to show. I've already baked her Funfetti, Confetti, Confetti cake and lemon. So the first thing we're going to do, you don't even need a mixer for this. You just need a big bowl. Big bowl. Big bowl. Scale. What has chocolate on it? Ours has chocolate on it. And a whisk. Let me get the whisk. Got the whisk. And a whisk. The first thing for this recipe is putting our chocolate in a bowl, our butter in a bowl, and our hot coffee. My chocolate cake has coffee in it, and we use unsweet chocolate. So we can, use can, this. Can I put the chocolate on? Can I? We use Baker's. Can I? Yes, in a second. Baker's um, unsweet chocolate. It has no sugar in it. It's very bitter. I like unsweet chocolate. But a lot too. of people don't. Get in the camera. A lot of people don't like unsweet chocolate because it's not sweet. First, we're going to put our unsweet chocolate in. We need, hold on, don't do it yet. We gotta turn on our scale. We need seven and a half ounces of unsweet chocolate. Okay. So that's a half ounce. So how many more ounces do we need? Seven and a half. But we already have a half ounce in there. So how many more do we Six need? Six and a half. Six. Keep going. Wait, wait. Seven and a half minus a half is six and a half. Seven. I said seven. You need seven more ounces. I said seven. Seven and a half. Eight and a half. Six and a half. And then I said seven. Okay, so we're at five. So how many more? We need two more chocolates. We need two and a half. Wait, get get through. Get through. We're at five and a half. We're at five ounces, so we need two and a half get more through. ounces. How much do you think that is? Oh, that's too much. That's Eight. Here, how about let's. That's seven and a half. Give me no, a little seven. bit of chocolate. Seven and a half. There you go. Too much on it. Okay, so next we're going to put our butter in. Yeah, that's hard. Then we are going to put our hot coffee in. And I'm going to no. show you what we do. So now I'm putting our butter in here while she eats her chocolate. It's hard. I'm melting it by buying the pan. And the recipe tells me to cut this up into small pieces because it will melt better. Yeah, but, we're but not I'm doing lazy. That today. <laughs> okay. So, it's at room temperature, so that shouldn't matter too much. So we're gonna do our coffee next. And the what? trick that I have for this is that it's not really a trick. So, so what I use is I just use our Keurig and I put. It's hot chocolate. water through it because then it, it gets it really hot and clearly it's up here and um then i actually use instant coffee to make the coffee for the uh. mixture so i put my instant coffee powder in the bowl 
And then I pour my water in there and then we cover it and let it melt. So we'll show you that here. I'm a turkey duck, duck, I'm gonna need duck, duck, duck. Don't drink coffee. Because of your, your chocolate cake. Oh, it's not even that much in there. Put paper over it. Clear wrap. Can you get your leg off the counter? So in here we have our chocolate, our hot coffee, and our butter. So we'll let it sit. It's so We'll let it sit until it melts. You just chop it in here. This is what it looks like after it's melted. And you wanna make sure that there's no chocolate chunks in there because nobody wants to bite into a chunk of chocolate uh, when they're eating cake. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna add our sugar. We're gonna mix that in real well. Hold on, we're gonna record it. Which one's sugar? They're both sugar. Oh, okay. And then... This one first. And make it sweet. Yep, go ahead and mix it. No, mix that first and then add the rest. Because it's unsweetened. When can I do it? Can I'm holding the camera. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix that please. <laughs> but don't say Okay, I won't say. You really don't like what I'm saying. So now we're adding the flour baking soda a little bit at a time because if you add it too fast you'll It'll get really yep you'll get a lot of white clumps so you can see the clumps right there forming so we have to work those out before we add the rest whoa that was good just scrape the edges or the sides of them there you go circles do not have edges Next up, Jasmine's going to crack the eggs. That's the last thing to go in there. And what we do is we crack it into a separate bowl. That way, if there's any shells, we can get them out and they don't go in the batter. So she's going to check to see if there's any shells. Nope. Just okay, going to put it in the batter. Dump it in. And then we're going to mix that one in before we add the other. No, you didn't. We're not separate. The eggs don't need to be separated. Are you showing off right now? Show off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I only put this in. Well, there she goes, not listening to mix the eggs before we <laughs> add more. All right, That's now the, mix. You see, my co-host left me. She said um, I could handle this part because she has better things to do. But um, when I prep the pans, I just spray a coat of, like, Hand spray of some sort on here. I like to put parchment paper in the bottom. I just have better luck with cakes not sticking. So I trace out my pan onto the parchment paper and then I just put it in the bottom. You can get parchment paper sheets, but this rolled up parchment paper can be found at your um, grocery store. And then I just put it in the bottom. Then I pour my batter on top, bake it, and let it refrigerate overnight before I do anything else to it. I don't do anything with a freshly baked cake because I don't want the cake to fall apart on me and then have to start all over. You can just refrigerate it if you're doing it in the same week. It can also be frozen, not in the pan, um, but I can talk about that later. So we'll get these in the oven. Okay. 